Hello everyone, this is me, Gamesline 99 aka no brainer. Welcome to another Star Wars Destiny video. Another TTS Season 4 video. How was your your new year and Christmas? I hope it was good. Mine was alright. And um yeah, so I've got three days to play three more games and Legacies is now legal. Uh you having to Obi die? So yeah, um, I just quickly roped together and modified my boss deck to include some, a couple of very powerful cards, and why is boss doing that? I do have some lag right now, but it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, yeah, okay, so he's going Mars Obi, that can do a good 6 damage a turn, but if I can either kill Obi too quickly or Mars too quickly, I should be fine. Imperial HQ star is amazing, as is this well connected and true star, and indeed I can get a Vibro Codrax turn 1. Uh, and the friends in low places to check for mitigation. Um, I'm just going to keep everything. I am just going to keep absolutely everything here. Uh, this is kind of ridiculous here. And I got a four. And he got a three. Alright, well I'm definitely taking my shields. Thank you very much. I will put it on Phasma, I think, and then give her the Vibro Axe. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, by the power of this plot, this, both players discard the top card of the deck. He loses lightsaber pull, I lose X8 Night Sniper, fine. Um, the only reason why I got this plot is because I might as well. It is um, slightly better against, um, you know, uh, force uh, misdirection. No, not force misdirection. Force illusion. That's the word. And he starts up with an ancient lightsaber, so he's got a really powerful start here. Let me just move these back. And uh, yeah, I'm going to start with. Uh, I could start with just rolling boss out, but that doesn't seem great to me. Let's start with low friends in low places. Let's see what we're cooking, what we're dealing with here. And let's have a let's get guard unbreakable. Hmm. That Unbreakable could be annoying, but I think getting rid of the guard is the best choice here. Uh, he has a Lothcat though, so he will be able to mitigate one dice in a turn, which will be annoying for us, but oh well. Of course Obi has the ability to uh, give a shield to a character. He's going to give it to Maz. Okay, this means I want to unload on Obi as much as possible. Um, oh, and he rolls natural six. Ow. He can resolve 9 damage this first turn. That is kinda ridiculous. Uh, yeah. Well, I this is a new card, well connected, it allows me to just get a resource. It's just really, really, really good for this deck. And I just gotta hope I have the same luck as he does, because uh, I just realized that with my line of play here, I'm not going to have anything for re-rolling. That could be a problem. At least I know he can't like guard all of my dice away this turn as well. But this is going to be very painful. Well, there's my 3 for 1. There's my blank and let's have him mitigate that. I'm okay with him doing that in exchange for not getting 3 damage off on the Mars. I did not want boss to die in this first turn. And because of dry fields, which is clean, a resource if you have no resources, I can truce to give him the resource at the end of the turn. Um, so that claiming is not very effective for him. So let's do that right now. And I will use that to play an Imperial HQ, even though I probably should save that for re-rolling actually, because I've got a blank here. Would have made more sense, but this is what I'm starting with. Now he's going to start passing, sure. Did he draw another? Alright, there's a 3 for 1 and there's a re focus I'm and a resource. I'm perfectly okay with this. This is 6 damage on the board right here. Or 4 if I just use the boss. One thing Legacies has given us is an absolute ton of removal, which scares me uh, heavily. But there we go. Uh, okay, he's going to remove the focus. And that makes complete and total sense. And he gets to use it because of the resource that I gave him. Hmm. Yes, yes. Now, 
I could attack Mars and hit her for five with this. But Obi-Wan already has an ancient lightsaber on the board, and Obi-Wan is looking very scary already. So that makes things a little confusing here. Do I hit Mars for it and then, like, use boss to move over? I don't think I do. I could just go straight for the Mars, but then I take all of this damage from Obi-Wan. I, if, if I stall, Obi-Wan ends up getting the damage out, right? Yeah, I should not have truced, uh, probably, until after I needed it. So let's just, let's just resolve for the 3 for 1 on Obi-Wan right now. I do worry about, like, Obi-Wan getting tons of stuff, tons of weapons on him, you know? Alright, so... He is in off to an amazing start in comparison to me, but I ju I did just draw a doubt at least. There's a he doesn't like you, so I can do stuff at least probably. And that other friend's in low places. Oh, he's got a raise saber. Okay, so he can raise saber onto the Mars, I guess. Now I've got a problem. I mean, five damage was five damage that I gave up. It would have left Mars on five, easily killable, but. Don't god roll me. He almost god rolled me again. Well, he got another three. Uh, actually, yeah, no. Uh, I'm I'm doubting that three right now. A resource. Well, that could have been worse. Could have rolled a three again. He had a two and six chance for that. Now he can roll out Mars, get in three damage there. Synchronicity. Okay. That's that's mean. Not gonna lie. I die to a three damage output from Mars's roll in here. But Mars can roll in more than just that, apparently, with that uh, light bow. Do I still mitigate the Obi-Wan dice? Well, it would stop her from being able to light bow Captain Phasma as well. So it makes sense to do that. It makes sense that he doesn't like you, this Obi-Wan die. So he can't Mars it. <sighs> that represents a lot of potential damage output. But I'm supposed to be the aggressor, and this first turn has not gone well at all. Take. And yeah, that's a double focus, you see, so it's a really good thing I didn't, um, so it's a really good thing I removed one of them, because otherwise he could focus both, and then it's three and a special. This so way he still kills the boss, but at least Phasma keeps her goddamn shields. One problem I have is I haven't actually you. Okay, heroes got a lot of removal. Villains, not necessarily. But I was hoping I'd just be able to play this, you know, this deck I'm already pretty familiar with, just upgrade it a bit. Special and a resource, I wish I had something to mitigate that, I really do. Do I take the resource? He might just hit Phasma, right? and wait for Bosk on the next roll-in, because he can always just roll in with Mars. I kind of just want to force him to kill off the Bosk. But at the same time, is that really a good idea? It's a resource, I might as well take a resource, right? I haven't got anything to spend this resource, though, on. Let's friend similar places here. Let's just see what, he's, what I'm working with. And my eye is the Force. Ow. And there's nothing I can do about that. He gets to kill me, and... Do that. That is uh, ridiculous. Eesh. Well, at least he has no removal. But I didn't draw a weapon.
Is he passing? No, nope. not yet. Okay, he's passing. Well, I know he doesn't have any uh, removal for this. So I will then play a backup muscle. This is just going to be a passing game for a while, I think. So I can hit Maz for enough to potentially kill her on the next round. Or I can keep going for this Obi-Wan. Lightbow only does 3 damage, but he's going to be able to activate it at the start pretty much every turn. Wait, I never... I never... I only have a stolen cache in my hand, and is it worth trying to reroll the Phasma die? I think it's worth trying to reroll the Phasma die. One. Okay, I'll take one damage. So at this point, I can kill I can kill Mars at the start of the next round with a backup muscle if I wanted to. But she's gonna be able to get whatever she wants off with the kill. But so I can do four. I can. So I can do. I can put him down to three. He heals up to five. But Obi Wan's probably dies on the next turn after that. And I did get rid of an ancient lightsaber versus killing a Mars, but having her be able to do what she wants for that one specific turn. I think I kill the Mars here. I think she can just kill me otherwise, but this Obi-Wan, this double die Obi-Wan is so terrifying and he just keeps giving him, giving shields to people, right? Again, that Ancient Lightsaber off the board is uh, pretty effective, but this, it's a very tough choice. Let's Imperial HQ and let's hit Mars. And then he redeploys, of course, then he redeploys. That makes a lot of sense to redeploy. If he has uh, Ray staff, or did he discard race? Uh, he didn't discard race. Yeah, no, I got played. I got played so hard there. And it gives him a shield and everything, so I don't even kill him. So yeah, uh, let's just go for the Obi-Wan with the rest of this then. I got comp I got played. I forgot what was in his hand. I have five resources right now. This is kind of ridiculous. And there's an electroshock, and I have three cards here that haven't loaded in yet. Alien Lightsaber's going to redeploy. This guy's got so much redeploy on his cards. Ah, there they are. Okay, well, I got a, I got a Phasmus Blaster, another Backup Muscle, and another Vibroax. The Vibroaxes are doing some very serious work. And the Phasmus Blaster's not terrible either. Um, nice Sniper has the advantage of Ambush. Um, let's try just to redeploy at this point. Uh, is just a re-roll, I mean. Uh, the second backup muscle can... I can probably kill off Obi-Wan this turn, but I've got to survive. I did not draw mitigation, uh, which is a big problem. I can go all out here and play both the XA and the uh, Vibro Cup, but then I have absolutely no resources for resolving any of these dice. And I could be walking right into a guard here. If he has a guard here, that is game. Or a force misdirection, because that is tons of damage, and he probably has removal. If he has no removal, I win. Uh, probably. But I mean, surely he's got a guard. Otherwise, he's got a very big problem, because I just god rolled. I don't think he has a guard, guys. He 
doesn't have a god. All right, so. That goes to four. Uh, with all of the stuff I've got here, I can kill him. All right. I have six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, he's going to have nine health because of that one shield if he resolves it. Or I can kill off Mars right now and avoid Mars. I avoid the Mars rolling completely. The island light, both lightsabers redeploy. But if he just decides not to roll out Mars for a while, uh, I might have until after I kill him. That could be a problem for me. I definitely have enough damage to kill off the Obi-Wan, but I don't think it's worth killing off the Obi-Wan here. I think I just put it both into Mars so I don't get the Ray Saber into Mars epic stuff roll out. And that way he loses the Ray's lightsaber die as well. He has to resolve the resource if he wants to resolve the three me melee. Alternatively, he can just re-roll these, because, I mean, he can. Oh, another synchronicity. Ow. Alright, let's uh, play my other backup muscle then, because I don't have removal. Uh, two backup muscles, I can put him to six, that is in the range for a Phasma special. With three re-rolls available, I might re-roll this one until I get something better than a one. He will almost certainly have a guard on the next turn though. Um, claiming, claiming early is advantageous, but I mean backup muscles. If I do manage to do uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage to him, uh, I can double back backup muscle for the kill in the next few turns. He has to roll damage then, but I mean, he can roll the damage. I'm, my Phasma's going to be it. He could easily kill me. Moves to get a resource, and that way he keeps... He keeps the 3-4 in his pocket as well. Well, there's nothing for it. Back up Muscle A. Although if I'd resolved these three now, it would have... Alright. In fact, I will resolve the three. That's where he starts this going to reroll most probably. He just needs three damage off of these two die. He's got a very good chance of hitting it. Oh. Praise for an heirloom. An interesting decision, to say the least. Let's back up again. That was the entire card. Now I'm willing to claim here, obviously. He claims first, he wants that. He's willing to drop both of these cards for this. All right, well. Interesting. All right, Evie, he doesn't like you, which is good, but I need to have dice out already. Electroshock, it's kind of annoying when people kill boss first, gotta say. Don't have other removal though, so this is going to be a problem. Oh yeah, oh yeah, GG, GG. Can't can't mitigate that. Out of curiosity, what would I have rolled in? That was really close. If I had started, if I had started killing Mars early, if I had just stuck to my guns and killed Obi Wan, you know, lots could have happened. But yeah, I I would have easily got the kill on him there. Yeah, I have. Uh, Nothing here that would have... Hmm. 
He had a repost. Yeah, you had the other guard. Hasty exit, overconfidence. So, so much. All right, well, we did do best of three. Hasty Exit is such a dumb card. There have been a lot of dumb cards in Legacies. Yeah, that turn without any upgrades at all was a big killer as well. Um, all right. Well... Going into the next round, then. I want to be faster, but backup muscles aren't fast, so I can't be. I get to choose which battlefield. Most probably choosing mine, let's be honest here. Uh, bait and switch, he doesn't like use. I mean, I like the he. I like the X8 sniper. I like the he doesn't like you. Uh, I'm not too much of a fan of these though. Let's save those for later. I want to get resources. That last time, that first time I got such a good hand. Truce. Mm. Not the best, but livable. Oh, wait, I can just choose which battlefield we're playing on. Probably play on his battlefield again. Unfortunately, he's going to have the tempo throughout this game with my backup muscle here. So, I'll let him take that. I'll put a shield on each of them. Well, no, I should still put both shields onto the plasma. He well connected. That allows me to draw a card at least. Imperial HQ, now that's what I like to see. Let's start this off right by playing the X8 sniper and rolling in for the uh, he doesn't like you. But he does start with three resources. That is the other thing of course that this uh, Set of decks gave that uh, this what do you call it gave. What do you call it? Um, words are failing me right now. This set gave. Oh, this is a pretty bad start. Uh, roll wise, this set gives so much mis mitigation and resource generation. Like wow. There's that three for one side, uh, and then a bunch of shield sides. I can't afford... He has a lot of shields there, which is very annoying, but I can't afford to let him have uh, another side up like that. I mean, the three for one could be used as a guard. Would a guard here in this situation kill me? Would it be too bad here? I don't think it would be too bad. These rolls are pretty terrible. I'd rather have him guard now than guard later. So a he doesn't like you on the shield side would be smart. Then again, if he manages to get the resource, he's got that three for one side and you can focus this to the plus three. And that would be worse for me overall. So let's see he doesn't like you. Um, let's remove this phasma die to remove this uh, three for one die. Don't want to have to deal with a truce or something like that. The more I play truce, the more I don't like it. But I do need out of hand resource generation. Now, if he gets double focus here, this will be a problem. I kind of need Maz to stop rolling well. Okay, he didn't roll too well there. Four shields is a lot of shields for me to have to try and deal with. But... Might end up having to discard like the bait and switch here to re roll. No resolve. Not thinking, okay. Last game was a really good game for me in terms of draws though, getting that Vibro Cutter Axe at the start. Alright, he's gonna punch Phasma in the face. Yep, I'm just going bait and switch. Feels bad, but I'm doing it. And blanks again. Alright, probably gonna have to discard the Imperial HQ then. And that sucks. That sucks so bad. Look at him, he's just got so much shields. 
And that got to a blank again. Ugh, well, I got a resource to play the backup muscle, I guess. No, he claims one turn early for, from Truce. Ugh. I can truce the 3 for 1 and pay for it potentially, but no, that's not worth it. Let's discard the truce. Let's just reroll this die and try and get damage, please. Oh my god. Well, let's pay one resource. Oh wait. Espionage. We forgot about espionage. Shit. Espionage mattered a lot. I would have not had Imperial HQ, I would have had doubt. Fuck. Oh well. Anyway, let's get a resource, play backup muscle. I kind of want to say let's restart the whole game, but whatever. He's got a, he's got an Obi Wan's lightsaber on him. I can't not shoot this guy. Let's leave Maz with her three shields for now. It's two. And that dry fields is really good for him because I can't. Here's sudden impacts though, there we go. And uh, that's a rocket launcher which is good but not without more resources. Which I threw away, admittedly. Shodos comes up so he's got plenty of shields now. Uh, let's just roll in the phasma immediately here, see what we're dealing with, get that he doesn't like you on the table. Now Sudden Impacts are amazing cards in general, um, especially against nice. Sudden Impacts are amazing cards in general, especially for this type of deck, because it allows um, against three character lists in particular. Well, he just rolled double threes, so that's that's annoying to say the least. Let's see, he doesn't like you, let's get rid of this plus two, I guess, for that three. Ugh. He can now roll in Mars Focus and then still do the 3 for 1 and then he's got another 3 damage available. Another 4 damage available afterwards. For a total of 7 damage, which is insane. But yeah, Sun Impacts are amazing against the 3 character uh, set because it specifically says remove. So, it whereas the 3 for 1 for Bosk, um, if you pay for this instead it's effectively a 0. So it becomes a 2 to both instead. Double Focus, really. Unblockable damage for three. I didn't even think about that. And that's a focus side as well, which is so, so annoying. Now, drawing both sudden impacts is pretty awful for me, but you know. God, okay. And I lose all of my dice. That's my turn used. That's just my turn used, you know? Nothing to be really done about that. Do I... I play the backup muscle, I guess. Look at how defensive he is right now. I need these fiber waxes so badly. I guess I've got a good hand going into the next round with the sudden impacts. I mean, on the rocket launcher, that turns a three for one into twos, into two twos, but that's not great against this deck when I need to focus one guy. But yeah, I think I've got to just claim here. I don't get a resource or anything for it because uh, this only works if you have no resources. And he's going to have one round, one resource going into the next round, and that is key for him having three resources around. So let's discard this sudden impact, not going to need two of them. Let's keep the Imperial HQ, let's keep the Rocket Launcher, let's take two resources, and then let's go. Truce, okay. Again, I can start with rolling in the Phasma, I guess. Man, Obi Wan is good. I mean, there are definitely, there are almost certainly things that can beat him, but it uh, feels so good. I did not get either of my Vibro Axes. I probably should have discarded more to get those, honestly. The Vibro Axes are kind of key here for Shield Hate. At least Obi Wan's ability is kind of worthless. Because he gets one shield. 
Okay. You can't give any character a shield, you know? Paying three for the heirloom. Alright, getting a thing for Mars so that she's got another three three die. Blue really might be the way to go in this uh, in this set. They have ult they gained a lot. A lot. I'm not just talking about like Yodas and stuff. They gained um, I'm talking about blue in general as well, not um, not just I'm talking about specifically neutrals, right? They've got hidden motive, they've got heirloom lightsabers, they've got um, well, Blue Hero, okay, yeah, Blue Hero got, like, the strike thing, and it's yes, so ridiculous. He got a 2, uh, that means not great news for him, actually. I, uh, he, if he wants to guard me, he guards me with a 2, which I'm okay with. A plus 2, a 3 for 1, um, okay, so I did roll in 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 damage here. So here comes the guard. As is to be expected, because that is nine damage. You can't have you, you can't just take nine damage, right? Which is annoying, I will admit. And he might have more removal to these plus twos. Well, let's get that Imperial HQ up. Thing is with his backup muscle, I can't afford to just not play it on the f every turn now because there's only one of it left. He did re-roll, he got another three. Um, that's horrifying. I can double focus into six if I wanted to here, but I think I just want to discard and re-roll, honestly. Uh, keep the plus two. A resource special and a two. Alright, I'll take that. Synchronicity. Of course. Uh, yep. Let's just do the four. Now he's still got plenty of damage left on the table here with another Obi die and a sh Shodos. There's a focus, and he just rolled a base three on that heirloom. He could kill Phasma right now with just resolving both of those threes. And the pain won't stop just because I kill off the Phasma. Damn it. And I lose this Phasma special as well as a result. Alright, let's discard the truce and reroll. Resource again, not good. We can focus into another three. Discard again, reroll. Hey, a three for one, nice. That's another thing actually. Um Hero um Yellow Hero also got an absolutely ridiculous card, um, in the form of uh, I forget what it is, but it costs one, and if two die showing the same, uh, remove both of them, but you have to spot yellow for it. Um, it's kind of dumb as well. Um, I should really... I have a Hera Mars... Um, and he's going to be able to lightsaber pull um, probably a light bow or a redeploy weapon. Nope, ancient lightsaber to keep Obi-Wan alive. Makes sense. He's going to get um, two shields and the ancient lightsaber off of that. So he's going to go back up to three shields. Yeah, okay, so this deck just can't beat Legacy's characters anymore. Um, the, the amount of mitigation and um, shields is too high. I don't know what people are saying about um, the damage output. But it's pretty high. I need to kind of god roll and kill him off of a god roll here before he plays the ancient lightsaber. But then again, he can still get two shields. So even if I god roll, he lives. Just he lives unless I god roll and get like six. But then I'm not putting down a rocket launcher this game, this round. Then I'm not putting down a rocket launcher this round. I can't even, I can't really afford it if I want to be getting the best sides anyway. 
Let's just go for it. Let's just try and get this god roll. Let's play to win here. Um, okay. Actually, the god roll wouldn't have worked in the first place because boss three for ones are melee. But I can do six, but not with the force illusion. Because force illusion is bullshit. <sighs> that full solution is basically game. I need to play a different deck. Adapt, Caution, Ancient Lightsaber. Reaping the Crystal. Well, I can get rid of the Caution at least. It doesn't have removal for this round. That I can just unload as much as possible. I don't think it's going to be enough and he is going to be able to kill me. He just is able to get shields whilst also doing so much damage. And I don't have shield hate. It's all in the bottom of this deck. Yeah, I need to play. Maybe Vibro Knife makes a comeback? <laughs> you know? Maybe. It's a possibility. I think I bait and switch to the 3 for 1 and just resolve that, have him mitigate, have him remove it. But then he gets to play the Ancient Lightsaber afterwards and then heal for 2. Or I say fuck it and start attacking Mars who has 11 effective health. I just, I can't win without with these shields. This is the other Force Illusion and the Unbreakable, at least. The yeah, Unbreakable, another amazing card for heroes. Well, okay, it's not that amazing, but it can it can always remove a special. One cost, always remove a special. That's pretty good in my book. Alright, so he should be able to do about 9 damage and win this game. Discard the Phasma Blaster, and let's reroll this die, try and get something better than a 1. Hey, plus 2. That's 5. I can kill Obi-Wan at the start of next round, potentially. A bit of lag. Significant lag. Let me let him just do it. At this point, shields don't matter uh, for the backup muscles to kill. He's hoping he resolves both shields, though. Nope, doesn't resolve both shields. Just needs one damage to win. At this point, GG. Can't win without my shield hate. Vibro axes.
Fair plays to Jedi. He has built this deck very effectively with a lot of um, resources out of hand. Um, with both Reaping Crystals and Adapts and Well Connected, and has dry fields for the one resource. So he starts the game with three, re starts the, each turn with three resources, and he has so much zero cost removal. Yeah. Uh, well, this has been me against Line 99 aka No Brainer. Thank you for watching. 4-4 four, four could potentially make it, but it'd be very difficult. Uh, signing out.